going on YouTube family? James Green here. So I'm going to show you a little tip here. This is uh, we're in the new garage. Uh, the new shop moved and so this is one of the new videos I'm doing here. I know I've uploaded a lot of stuff to the channel from the old channel. So anyway, a little tech tip or cutting tip if you will. So a lot of times we're always looking for ways to make things a little faster. This is going to be incorporating Carolina bandsaw and we all are always looking for ways to this is an old school stare at uh, 268 okay so multiple uses for V blocks other than just the mill let me show you how I can use it or I do use it or it doesn't have to be this exact model but a you know they're all different sizes for things this is in regards to I'm having to cut a bunch of pieces of square tubing. Now, if you have ever cut square tubing on a bandsaw, you know when it comes down, it is slow coming on the flat part. And then you get down here and it's slow. If you take and turn it, and I will demonstrate both, I will do the normal flat, how long it takes, versus you throw this in on one side, tighten it up, and you cut this way, it goes a lot faster, especially if you have a lot of pieces to do. So I'm going to first demonstrate. Uh, I'll get you over here where you can see. Matter of fact, so bear with me. I'm going to move the camera a little bit. A good view. Pardon that. All right. So first, you're going to see how fast. We'll do it the traditional, you know, flat. 90 degree lined up setup. Now these are just approximate pieces. Oh, sorry about that. Knocked you guys out of the way. So, <clears throat> a little noise from the bandsaw. Let me see. Go back just a little bit. There we go. So, we'll see how long it takes, and I will try to feed this as fast as I can without stalling out the saw. See? Well, it's carried away there. Once you get through the flat part, So you saw, once it gets here to here, most of us have, now if you have a big giant coolant fed, you know, do all, they'll just, it doesn't make a difference. But if you've got something like this, or the smaller a lot of you have out there, the Harbor Freight uh, or import version, I had one and I've, I've, I wore it out. I wore the sucker out and came across this. So you see how you, once you got through here, and I was trying to feed it as aggressive as possible, you got to the sides, it went quick until you hit the bottom. So, we'll go ahead and raise it up. I'm going to reset, and I'm going to put the angle, or the uh, V-block in. Sorry. V-block, angle block, whatever you want to call it. And all you do is turn it 90 degrees. Slide it back a little more here. There we go. Now we're going to slide out and there. Okay, so all we got to do is have this right, you want to have this V block centered in, right in line with what you're pushing with. Okay, now all we're going to do is Here we 
we go. All right, we're locked in. So it's gonna go a lot faster. And here we go. faster. You can almost cut two. This at this method versus the other way. In the same amount of time. Once you get too carried away and feed it too much. These don't have to be exact, but I want them within an eighth inch or so of each other. even got a little aggressive with that one but still you can see you know you're always trying to how fast can you cut it and this blade isn't exactly new <laughs> I've cut a boatload of uh, material with this so this blade is very 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 used so there we go that was the idea of the video let me rotate this around a little bit here there we go so use for v-blocks other than just you know in the mill they work for uh, and also I use v-blocks at times when I'm cutting round material because still here you have two contact points same thing if you don't want it to spin or you have a short piece you know I found it works great because you have you can put two on each side if you want to, that way you got four contact points. You just have to open your jaws wider. Um, I find it very useful to use, you know, that's just another little trick, kind of make things go faster. Like I said, cutting when you have less, you know, contact in one spot fast and slow at the other. I mean, six of one, half a dozen the other, any little thing you can figure to make. Uh, and I was pushing this and you saw how you know, you could stall it out if you let it drop fast enough. And again, blades old. But there you go. I hope you guys find that useful. We're slowly getting things. I'll kind of do a pan around here real quick. Show you what we got going on. I'm loving this LED light. So you can see there. Still got some more organizing and unpacking to do. Uh, we have the block for the 69, the FE block. I still have to do a lot of cleanup to that. Uh, Got to pull the plugs, clean all the oil galleys, take it, get it vatted, all that good stuff. Been using the mill quite a bit. The new to me, whoop, the new to me Delta Milwaukee 1950s 60s vintage drill press has been working great. I'll kind of move you guys around here. Move you over here. Kind of pan around a little bit. 
since I got some time, might as well make good use of it. Uh, this was something I picked up, uh, I want to say right before I moved. It's an old school Enco, as you can see. Uh, matter of fact, uh, manufacture date of 1990. Uh, it's got a three quarter horse. It's a one by 42 with an eight inch uh, uh, adhesive backed. Works great. Um, I've got it clamped down to the table. I love this thing. It's working great. It's a workhorse. The old uh, Harbor Freight Central Machinery. It's been working great too. So been doing good with it. Um, you guys, Empire Abrasives. That's the place to get your all your abrasives and stuff from. They work great. This has the ceramic belt on it here. It's been working fine. This is the zirconia belt. They're doing pretty good. Um, the ceramic belts, they have it in belts. They also have it in flat discs. I've got some down here. They work great, especially if you're working in exotics or knife making. You want to move, remove a lot of material. They will get with it. Um, the ceramic belts are awesome. I mean, if you want to literally grind, you know, it, we're so used to using aluminum oxide for everything, and I still do. But you want to use, remove a lot of material quick, and you don't you want to use a grinder, but you want to, like I said, knife making is a real popular thing right now due to certain TV shows and stuff. So if you're into that, I am going to be doing some knife making projects and stuff, but it works great. Even on with the really, really coarse stuff, uh, I've got some that I will demonstrate later on but there you go kind of give you guys a little view uh, we got us a working space here still have stuff to organize all that I'm probably gonna have to end up building another shelf over there and probably some over on this wall but the LED lights work great I'm loving them loving them loving them so there you go I hope this has been helpful a little uh, short little video on a little tip using your V blocks to make material turn a square tube on corner cut through goes a lot quicker I have found out anyway there you go thanks for watching you guys spread the word about my channel click the like button down at the bottom we'll talk to you guys later bye bye